The age of the influencer is over. The time of the buck has come. Tuesday morning. You know what I was thinking about? You know, that was my, that was, I, I started doing an Australian impression for a minute, for a minute, for a second, for a microsecond there. And you know who I was trying to impersonate, but I haven't watched enough videos to do a good impersonation of Ivan. So, uh, and I gave up the whole gut. Um, I, I ran out of gut spiration, so I stopped commenting. Some guy says I did that. It was, I was upset because I sent Ivan a message. No, I didn't send Ivan a message. Uh, the only message I sent him was publicly telling him that he needs to equip his gut. There we go. I wonder where the text is so far back. Doesn't matter. This set was feeling pretty good, although I wasn't able to get 20 reps again. But I think I figured out the issue. And the issue is that I've got uh, too wide of grip. And so my upper back's not as tight as it should be. And therefore, it doesn't have the, uh, the sort of endurance or strength. Strength endurance is... Sam Schlick would say. It doesn't have the strength endurance that it requires. So, anyways, as I'm recording this, I, it's uh, 10 a.m. Uh, Thursday. I'm going to... I've got another squat workout today. Same weight. And hopefully I get 20 reps. Otherwise, there's going to be a big problem. Because I need to be able to do 20 reps to 460 if I'm going to be able to do 500 for 20. Or more than that. Yeah. And so, anyways, uh, what the hell else is there to say? Tractor's looking pretty orange, as usual. Yep. Uh, I wanted to do, like, these individual reps, although this makes the set, uh, I, I get more winded when I'm doing this, but um, my IT band doesn't hurt quite. It doesn't, it doesn't, you know, the pain's very minimal now, but when I do this sort of uh, set, this sort of technique, just doing one at a time, rebracing at the top, it uh, it hurts, but as little as it can. And what what happens though after I do my squat workout? When I sit down, when I after I sit down for a little bit and I try and get back up, it's my leg is really fucking tight, and I have to walk in, walk around for a little while for it to loosen up. You know that didn't look like my upper back was running that much, but uh, it felt like it. And and when you you go and rewatch it, that's why RPE is kind of bullshit. You have to just review the tape. Digital tape, that is. And so I just did this because I needed to get 20 reps. And so I figured 22 reps is better if if, it, if I wasn't doing getting all 20 in one set. I did the same thing with chin-ups this morning. I didn't have a very good uh, fifth rep. So I just waited a couple of minutes and then did two more reps with, with, uh, with the dumbbell. Because some guys like, how do you, you know, this guy, this Bulgarian guy, he's like, how do you take all those roids? How do, how do you take all those roids and not get gyno? I have gynecomastia and both, both my glands have developed. They're left one more than the right, although they're not as big as they used to be because I did my riloxifene cycle. And uh, they don't really, sometimes they get inflamed, especially, uh, you know, a while back when I had my lactation episode or two episodes. And um, I think they got inflamed because the, the, uh, the milk got a little went a little fucking sour in the uh the nipple <laughs> anyways uh yeah my left one was really bad back in 2021 i was using deca test and anadrol and my left uh, my left gland was like fucking huge and anyways they're at a size now where it doesn't really bother me but back then that bothered me because my acne was really bad i'm like great my acne is this freaking bad. I look like a freaking chud. And then I have, uh, I have, I'm developing breasts on top of breasts. 
That's really good. That's <laughs> yeah. I didn't. I never back then. I didn't think my acne was gonna get any better. I thought I was just gonna be a freaking uh, leper go a leper gnome, a giant leper gnome. That is. I was for this uh, workout. I was still very like tired from the uh, squats and the RDLs the day before. So. Um, and I wasn't quite recovered. Maybe I didn't eat, eat enough, but, and I also, my, my sleep got kind of affected and I don't know exactly from what, but I slept a little bit better last night. You know, people say it, I remember my brother went to go see a doctor, uh, was it a natural medicine doctor? And they were talking about, um, he says he wakes up in the middle of the night and they said that, um, she thought that that was kind of weird, like a weird time. He gets up at 3 a.m. or wakes up at 3 a.m. And something about like you wake up because your cortisol peaks, and I, I don't know if uh, testosterone is supposed to be it's supposed to lower your cortisol. Anyways, I I don't know if it's the cortisol. Most of the time when I wake up in the night, it's because I have to take a leak because I'm a freaking boomer. Uh, but there is something that Derek from More Plates More Dates sells. It's a cortisol blocker. I can't remember what the hell it's called, but I've used that before and it seemed to work. I was thinking I should just take more melatonin. I can't take Benadryl anymore, so I can take, I'll take more melatonin. It's cheap anyways, and it's neuroprotective because it's an antioxidant. So, got that. I picked up some Ursodiol, which is Udka, and I take, I take 500 milligrams uh, twice a day. This to help the liver detox because it stimulates bile flow. And, um... The thing is, Tudka is apparently better, but you can't get any, uh, the, the Tudka you can get is more expensive and it's also not, uh, it's not as high quality because it doesn't, like the Tudka I have is pharmaceutical grade. So the, the Tudka you can get is, uh, probably, I've gotten Tudka before, it didn't do anything, or at least, you know, they said it was Tudka. Shit. You need a better shirt. This shirt's making me look stupid. So... I got some good comments. The computer's booting up, so just give me 20 minutes, okay? Well, in the meantime, we'll just talk about the one I remember. No, I remember two. What the hell did the guy say? The one guy said he was retard maxing since he watched my video and he's eating all the all the, all of the uh, slop that he can to turn his brain to total mush. And I've inspired him to do that. Maybe that um, maybe that's a compliment. Maybe he means that he's he's sacrificing brain power for muscle power. Which is a noble cause for a time, but not for your whole life. Because, yeah, you end up like this. Well, not quite. It's only been the last, what is it, like four, almost five years. It's almost been five years since I've been in that sort of mode. But I've had a few breaks where that my brain works as it should. But then before then, my brain wasn't, basically my brain was, was working it was in its peak working capacity, although although it never I never made never hit my potential because I didn't know anything about sort of uh, biohacking, okay, basically stems and uh, all the other things that can support brain function. Um, the uh, but back when I was like nineteen or twenty, those were in the League of Legends days. Those were the good days, okay. The good days, okay. Back when League of Legends was still fun. And not just like if you screw up, then everyone just calls you a uh, trash, inbred. I don't know. Uh, I wish you were aborted. They, they, that's what they say to you because you made a mistake. <laughs> oh, your game's dying up. No one wants to play. You're not getting any new players. Wonder why. Wonder why. Yeah, you're so cool. You're anonymous and you're, you're trash talking everyone on the internet anonymously. Yeah. Oh, man, that's cool. That's so fucking cool, and you're tough too. Yeah. Oh, would you say that to them? And would you say that to the person? No, I bet. I bet. I bet you would. Yeah, you, you totally would. So, anyways, one of the comments was uh, Sam Sulik makes his content for high schoolers. Buck Totruck makes his content for chronically online schizo chuds. Which, you know, I'm happy to do that because the schizo chuds need some representation because they're a mar. <laughs> 
They're a marginalized group. I was going to say marginalized. Uh, yeah, they are marginalized. Okay, they're both marginalized and marginalized. Okay, because frankly, if you're a chud, you're probably kind of greasy. And uh, margarine is just about one of the most disgusting things you can consume. And that, which means that if you were putting it over your whole body, you might be some sort of next level ick or yucky, as my niece would say. So, this thing will overfucking load. I, I prepared my breakfast a little earlier than usual. It's 7.45, September 5th, Thursday. And uh, today I, I'm taking the day off. Um, well, I was, I worked longer days on Monday and Wednesday, so, and tomorrow I got a longer day, but today I gotta, well, I gotta make this video because, you know, this will be paying off eventually. Whether or not, maybe in coaching, I don't even know. The part of me is like, the only difference that I can help people with, the only difference that I can that I could have with other people that would do the same programming as me is that I just tell you what sort of like mental preparations you're going to have to do if you actually want to go to, to the, uh, to, to a high level. And then also like, you know, you could turn sort of, um, you like that sort of, uh, figuring out how, like when to work out, just like what fits your schedule the best, how often you got to eat because lot, you know, if you work a manual labor job, for example, most of the, for, you probably want to work out before you go to work because unless you're a novice, or if you're further along, it's going to uh, ruin your training unless you're doing bodybuilding training, which means you're not using heavy weights. Okay. This guy says he's commenting on my 625 power shrugs. Hang high pulls are insane. Even better than heavy shrugs. Hang high pulls. The stretch at the bottom of the catch is mental. Is it about the stretch? Is the stretch of the muscle the... Uh, I don't think the stretch of the muscle is the thing that makes it grow. Besides, I'm doing the... I'm, I'm doing like... Uh, it's like a block pull... A block pull power uh, power shrug with 625. It's all about weight for traps. And anybody that says that... Anybody who's not using heavy weights and has traps is just using steroids. So then again, I you know I just contradict myself. Basically, traps are just built from steroids. But if you're natural, if you get your deadlift up to 600, and I know that sounds like I gotta get up to 600. Yeah, you gotta get up to 600, and then you'll have traps. <laughs> you gotta get your deadlift up to 600 and your squat up to 500 before you look like you work out. But then before people might they they might be like, I think that guy might lift weights. You have to get you have to put in that much time. So. Anyway, let's see some of these other, uh, let's see some of these other comments. Weaning Soros. Now, oh, this is, this is going to kill my total vibe. My total, my, my good vibe. Pursuit of happiness. Alternate Resident Evil save room music. I'm not a Resident Evil guy. I think that the only value from it is that it, the, especially the movies are that they're entertaining and that the, they're like really stupid. I really like the first movie, but not because it's a good movie. And I kind of like the theme song by Marilyn Manson. I don't really like Marilyn Manson because he's just weird. But um, I kind of I like that movie. Here we go. Okay. Uh, I don't know if this has been answered. Uh, but, but your current split just full body three times a week? No, my split is squat three days a week. Sunday, Tuesday, Thursday. Is, um, Sunday, Thursday, I also do chin-ups five by five. I do overhead press Monday, Wednesday, Friday, three sets of five. I do remaining deadlifts, two sets of eight on Tuesday, and I do deadlifts for one set of five or maybe more extra credit on Saturday. Uh, okay. Fat-free Greek yogurt is just yolked sour cream. True. Keep weightlifting hideous, Buck. Keep weightlifting hideous, Buck. Or keep weightlifting hideous, Buck. I'm gonna assume it's the second one, where he's he's saying it hideous, and sort he's using it in a sort of like um, uh, a sort of Bill and Ted's sort of uh, I don't know, in, an endearing endearment. I don't know if that's the right word, but 
it's a compliment. Or he's just calling me hideous. Or he's saying that my, like, the garage and all of the things, that, that sort of setup is hideous. Okay, which, true. Um, okay. Yeah, and so anyways, I'm hoping that the the issue, I don't think I can do the, the roll down of the back because I, I, was trying, I was trying to have a lower rack position for my, um, for my squats on Tuesday, but the, the bar, when I'm coming back up, it just, it wants to move around and that's no good. And, um, so I think the issue is my grip's too wide. So my bumper back's not as tight as it should be. And so I'm going to try, I'm going to like, I'm going to like force myself to come in closer and hopefully my, my, it doesn't flare my tendonitis up because then it fucks up my overhead press. So we'll see how that goes. But right now I got to I made, holy shit, this thing's fucking hot. Man cake. Man cake. A2 milk. Okay. All right. It's got adequate storage space. Yeah, here we go. Midway game. That's right. Is, is this guy going to be quiet? No, he's not. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay, we'll go back to me. Okay. So, we're back at it. And I've got my blue light blocking lenses on. So I'm looking really good today. <laughs> and, uh, because I've got some, my eyes are irritated. Okay. And there's a number of things. It could be there's a guy that says it's a uh, sun exposure issue because I use... I've used Accutane. I'm on Tretinoin right now, but even some of that Tretinoin will uh, probably get affect my eyes a bit because I also I apply apply it around here. I don't put it, I don't put it on my eyelids, but I put it like on my eyebrows and here. I don't put it on my nose. I put it and I put it right here. And so, anyways, there's that. That will that'll cause dry eyes, sun sensitivity, and so. Uh, I was looking at getting eye drops, and it says that may may contain hydrochloric acids and or sodium hydroxide for uh, to adjust pH. So I'm like, I'm gonna see if I can fix this without having to take put the hydrochloric acid in my eyes. And another thing, my blood pressure is higher too, so that's probably affected it because I was looking up the um, the causes of uh, um, like what the the you know the redness is the red lines and so it's dilated blood vessels. Okay. So anyways, let's get back to what's really important. I got to figure out how to. Play. Okay. Now I know how to play again. It's been a while. Holy shit. You are now entering the tombs of the undead. Whoa. This is the Gasondo pillar. Thanks. Jeez, my guy's freaking getting like a total spaz today. Get out of here. You know, every good every good game has a zombie level. Oh, they can pass through there, eh? This is not in the N64 version. Okay. This this fucking pillar is kind of annoying. I also have a bit of a headache, but I don't think that's caused from that. I think it's just because my eyes are irritated. Ugh. 
Holy cow. Jeez. These freaking mummies don't quit. I thought it was only the royalty that they got mummified, but not in the Gone Legends universe. King Tut. You don't know who King Tut is? The um, there's an ongoing spiritual battle between the the, um, the 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 line the the bloodline of the Pharaoh and the bloodline of the prophets of Israel. I haven't looked into it much. I just read I just read that, and that seemed kind of interesting. Classic Scooby Doo, like scary walk. What's this? Okay. <laughs> food is good. Although, right now, food is a little, um, I just get so bogged down with it, but I can't even think. The only thing I'm thinking about is, oh boy, this sucks. But the, the milk makes it a lot easier to get the calories in. If I had to eat solid food, I'd be, I'd be screwed. I don't know how those fucking bodybuilders do that. Like Jay Cutler eating, he eats, I was looking like, I don't know. 6,000, 7,000 calories a day, and he has like almost, he has like little to no fat. That would be like freaking impossible. guys again. Okay. I'll have to do the Valley of Fire if I'm gonna be able to beat the boss, because the boss is level after this one, so I'll have to regain some health. You don't get any experience when, well, you get next to no experience running the Valley of Fire, or at least you still—I well, I mean, you still get the same amount of experience. It's just that it doesn't even really make a dent at this level. Okay. Oh, I have no keys. That's why. It's weird to be out of keys. Jeez, what's going on around here? Oh, thank you. Oh wow, perfect. That's what I was hoping I'd get. Poison. These guys might want to get that like spinal deformation checked out by Dr. Pepper. Yeah. The girl I know had a baseball on her back. If you know what movie that is. <laughs> I don't know. 
<laughs> and some good, this, there's some serious. Adam Sandler has some good stuff. Might have to be like born in the either 80s or 90s to kind of get it though. Okay. It's gonna be one of these things, eh? The thing's gonna fill it with water, I bet. Uh, Winchesterton Fieldville. Uh, yeah. Oh, yeah. That's what she called it. I saw a bumper sticker. I went out to the grocery store today, and then uh, I saw a bumper sticker that said, I'm a mom and a nurse. Nothing scares me. Oh, boy. And she had a pentagram. One of her other bumper stickers was a pentagram. Oh, boy, that's good. You're a fucking bad... You're a bad bitch. The thing about nurses is that, you know, there's there's good ones, obviously, so I gotta, I gotta throw this in there so they don't get all offended. Because there's some that I like, but that's like, there's like two. And so, uh, but they basically just stick a catheter in an old man's, old man's penises. And then they wipe ass. Yeah. And then they want to get praised for that. Okay. Okay. Thanks for that, buddy. So what the hell's the point of this? Oh. How did you get down here? Oh. Oh, that's not what I wanted to do. To a, like, talking to a guy about uh, Worf and how um, the uh, Klingon mating ritual is uh, the, the, the females the females roar males read and they hear all heavy objects and the males read love poetry <laughs> you know it's funny how Worf and Dax get married in Deep Space Nine and he's like I've been thinking about my wedding my entire life. <laughs> Those are organic strawberries. Oh, that was a pineapple. Freaking Biden moment. moment. Bozo. Oh my goodness. This guy should be getting one hit. In my opinion. I watched Tom Brady's channel. It's like, how much can I bench press? How much can I bring after? I don't know. I haven't been. He hasn't maxed out in 18 years or something. Tom Brady has no fucking personality at all. He's, he's the real life version of the kid from Ned's. The kid that spins the basketball. The kid's more likable, though. Because he's playing a character and not being the character. And then when Tom, Tom Brady, I think, I think he did 275 and then he yelled, let's go. 
And I think he was trying to impersonate the uh, sort of excited Zoomers to do that, but it ended up he ended up being just like one of them. And, well, anyways, it just fell flat in my opinion. Anyways, I don't like Tom Brady. And he's got he's, he has the same body as the Slender Man. Arms are slightly shorter though. Oh, here we go. Okay. Yeah, so I don't know what the, this, uh, I don't know, Egyptian style boss is going to be. Because this these levels are way different than the N64 ones. I have no idea what I just did. Oh, this. Maybe it's this. Yes. strawberry I was looking for. I like strawberries. Strawberry jello is good. <laughs> That's my grandmother. Like I just faded away Obi-Wan Kenobi style. Nice. That was a good use of a potion. Oh, nice. Reflective shield. Oh, there we go. Oh, I killed I I'd kill death, but I don't have a potion. It's like some Indiana Jones stuff right there. Whoa, bellows. Foolish court. Well, these, some of these ramps are so freaking steep. You'd never have guessed that you can run up them. This is going to be really bad if we can't get out of here. Oh, there we go. Slowpoke. Yeah, I'm by it. Man, I like all those, those impact noises. It's something pretty powerful. Okay. Oh, oh. Oh, oh. What's this? 
Ooh, nice. Grinch breath. I've got Grinch breath. I had that this morning. Uh, that's me. That's why. Or the lady was just being nice and she didn't want to laugh at my sweet joke. Because uh, there's the there's the one uh, cashier at No Frills, and so I said to the lady, I'm like, man, and she's got you know she's got a beard. I'm like, someone needs to buy a lady a razor. No pop. I'm unappreciated. when I'm aiming these skulls is to just hit as many things as I can in one, in one go. So that's why they're not necessarily... Because just uh, clipping the edge of the guys will, will, hit, will uh, damage them. Or kill them. Chad's making fun of me. Chad, get in the frame. Look how small he is. Chad, get in the frame. Holy shit. He's basically like a wart. He might one of my warts. That's how small he is. What? Chad, take a seat. Take a seat. We're about to do a, a clinic in, in the old Gauntlet Legends. Okay. I need a higher seat. What the hell, Chad? You missed it, but Chad says, uh, "Yeah, you ever think of wearing a shirt? I don't. I can't find any that fit me." Whoa. <laughs> okay, that was a dead giveaway. That's. That's fucked. Okay, now what do I do? It was pointing over here somewhere. Yeah, I'm gonna fucking blow you guys to smithereens. See how bad rock shower sucks? He killed those things. More like pebble shower. Okay, so the, the thing, where the hell was it pointing exactly? Oh. No. It was pointing like that away. Oh, here we go. Yeah, oh, good. I'm right at the end of the level. <laughs> I gotta do Valley of, the Fu Valley of Fire a few times because because I need to get my health back for the boss fight. The rush hour in this does suck. Yep. That, that uh, radius is tiny. Yeah. Here we go. All right. Time to kick kick some desert ass. Whoa! It's Rob Williams. Cyclops. Williams. Okay. Oh, free food. Young me! has way more health than my guy. That's because you never were at full health. Well, that's true. Where are you supposed to take cover from this son of a bitch? Do a drive by? Well, how are you supposed to dodge that one? Turbo attack. Cool tornado, sucker. Well, let's see how much the damage this does to him. No. No, that's not what I wanted to do. Oh, okay. You can't throw the potion, apparently. I'm going to have to be a tank, apparently. 
I don't want to play a tank. I want to play. Hey, what's that little thing on the ground? That's uh, some sort of halo. Hopefully, it just stuns him. Oh no, it doesn't. Yeah, cool move. This guy's like uh, what's Will Scarlet with that uh, tornado thing that he does. Far when I run straight at me. Fuck, douchebag. So we're getting some good damage in. Oh come on, that one didn't hit. I gotta be like Tyler One and go, God, duh, God, duh, and then fall back in my chair. But I don't have I don't have that kind of chair, so. If I try to do what he does, it'll just break the chair. You'll have to get out on all fours and listen on your back, Chad. What's that? It'll be like getting on the goalpost all over again. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Well, I won't stand on your back. I'll just sit on it. And at least... You're not the guy who got a semi-back tweak from that. That was me. <laughs> Alright, here we go. What? God, no! <laughs> <laughs> that was supposed to be Demon Skull. This guy's kind of a bitch, okay? You got all your, you got all your fancy moves there, Mr. Cyclops. Does he have a cigar in his mouth? No, that's his... That's a paintbrush. Okay, listen up, bitch. I can dodge that. Too bad he doesn't get stunned like the fucking uh, dragon. There we go! Wow, that did like as much damage as two attacks. I think he's speeding up a little bit, is this combo? Yeah, this is a great shot. Yeah. <laughs> oh my goodness, I'm gonna sneeze. Sucker! Oh. Just, yeah, just. Oh, I can't. I did a animation cancel of getting hit when I did my turbo attack. Okay, f son of a bitch. You son of a bitch. I'm trying to help you, you son of a bitch. I wouldn't even try to avoid it. That's right, bitch. Yeah, that's right. I'm bad. I'm bad. <laughs> oh, here we go. Ah! Spurg out run. Ah! Scooby-Doo run. And I would have got away with it if it wasn't for you meddling kids. Continue now on your quest, Green Wizard. Okay. Give me that shard, baby. Rob Halford is about to die. Rob Halford. Yeah, once you hit, like, level 100, you get Rob Halford's uh, tinfoil cloak. The dude. Really? <laughs> <laughs> Okay, man, I wasted two potions on that sucker. Well, anyways, so let's just let's just do a. I guess gotta save. And this is the way. Do yeah. a quick recap. Oh yeah, quick recap. So, all right, what we learned today was the sun is bright. The sun is bright, and the the way to counter the sun being bright is being taller, so that when you're sitting down, it looks like I'm missing a tooth. Uh, when you're sitting, down, that'll be a classic Canadian. Oh, there See, go. there you go. See, if you weren't a midget, it wouldn't be in your eyes. <sighs> Alright, so, here we go. We got a little fella in the background. Chad, you just stand on my shoulder. Stand on my shoulder. Stand on your shoulder. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I didn't say... <laughs>